So the NBA Finals are finally upon us. The Cleveland Cavaliers will take on the Golden State Warriors. In this video, we'll take some of the best basketball games in the last 20 years and simulate the outcome of this series. The first game we'll be playing is NBA In The Zone 1999, yes, this is for the Nintendo 64. Golden State will have the home court advantage for this, but it really didn't make much of a difference for Cleveland. They came out strong, as we see there, Sean Kemp taking the shot. They came out right from the get-go, firing on all cylinders, offensive powerhouse. Now, keep in mind, the score really isn't that high. I'm assuming it'll be a little bit higher in the actual game. Uh, Golden State did try to get back into it in the third quarter, but again, Cleveland was way too much. Check this open three-point. Look at that pass. Bam! Let's see it again. Yes, we have instant replays in this. Isn't it beautiful? So game one in the books, Cleveland will take this with the score of 37-27. to 27. It's 1-0 for the Cavaliers. The next game we're going to get into is NBA 2K3 for the GameCube with Allen Iverson on the cover. Again, Golden State will be the home team. And this matchup, starting off early, Cleveland coming strong. Look at this. Take an 8-4 lead early in the first. Cleveland, they're looking to take game two as well, both on the road. That would be pretty impressive, but don't count out the Warriors yet. I believe that's Jason Richardson with the lay-in. Nice stuff. 22-22 tied up. Antoine Jameson, yes, taking the easy two. We're in the third quarter right here, down by seven. Dunleavy, fadeaway shot, why not? Up by nine. Golden State Warriors are coming out strong here. They don't want to go down two to Cleveland with that shot right there. 31-47, Cleveland missing the three at the buzzer, but it didn't matter anyway. That's all she wrote. 47-31, game two. That will tie the series at one apiece. Now, we go to game three in Cleveland. We're going to the Super Nintendo. That's right, NBA Live 1998. This is definitely retro. Golden State at Cleveland, and this game was back and forth the entire time. Golden State here with a hook shot from somebody. The only issue with this game is I really can't tell who's who, and also it doesn't say what time or what quarter we're in, but whatever. It's a long time ago. Contested two, no big deal. It's 17-17. Look at that lay-in. What was that? Was that a windmill lay-in? I don't even know what I just saw. Now, Cleveland would battle back in this. Right here, you'll see them hit a contested three. Green release, it must have been. I'm not too sure. And they would hit another two right here. Cleveland thought they had it in the bag, but don't count out these Warriors. Not at all. Timeout. Warriors scored right here at the buzzer. They pop another three to seal the deal with .8 left. That is game. I'm not sure why Cleveland didn't foul. Maybe it didn't exist. Who cares? Golden State is up 49-43 with a 2-1 advantage. For Game 4, we're heading back to the Nintendo 64, NBA Courtside 2, featuring the Black Mamba, that's right, Kobe Bryant. This game would feature a lot more scoring than in the prior three matchups. Sean Kemp with one sweet dunk right there. Lots of great passing as well, like right here, no looker, that was good. Back and forth game though, 46-46, we saw there in the third quarter. I didn't know which way this matchup was going. We had a lot of action, but not much three-point shooting at all. They didn't uh, do any of that, actually. 75-70 for the Warriors, but the Cavs, they're coming back here, posting up. And the fade, that's money. So we have 87-87 here in the fourth quarter. Cavs looking to take the lead with the time winding down. But whoops, the turnover, and that was incredibly costly for the Cavs. Golden State will capitalize here. Another no-look pass. Laying it in. The Cavs with one last chance here to tie it up to force overtime. There's the shot, and it missed. With that, the Warriors take a 3-1 lead in the series. We head over to Game 5. For that, we go to the Xbox 360. Yes, it's NBA 2K9. Boston Celtics Garnett on the cover. So this game, Warriors have the home advantage, looking to clean the series up. Now this is nice. This looks actually like a real basketball game that we're used to. Cleveland comes out strong right from the get-go. It's 5-0, 29-17 here in the second. Cleveland with a three-point shot. It's money. 
It's good. We actually have LeBron playing too, so finally we got one of the actual players that are in this series in one of these games. So 38-23, this was all Cleveland. They were dominant right from the start. They never looked back. The hometown was pissed off. LeBron with the miss here, but nice put back. No big deal at all. Again, this was all Cavalier basketball right from the start. The hometown ain't too happy about that one. The Cavs, they're probably feeling pretty good. LeBron James with the Jordan player of the game, 28 points. Final score, 70-54. For game six, we turn to NBA Live 15. Cavaliers at home, they're looking to force that game seven and win this championship. Golden State not having any of that. Cleveland, though, coming out strong. Nice lay in there with the rebound. Puts it back up by five here in the third. But don't count out Golden State. They are a tough bunch of boys. They want to wrap this game up right here. Klay Thompson on the break. He's going to make that look easy, taking a one-point lead. Cleveland, though, right here. LeBron the King forcing the and one. Cleveland will be hot here. Golden State Steph Curry turning the ball over. That's going to be costly here in the fourth quarter. Running down the court, that's Shepard with the shot. Money. 40-34, Golden State trying to get back into the Steph Curry MVP with a nice drive there. But a very interesting play here with the time winding down. Golden State just standing here? What's happening? Offensive three second? What? With that error, that pretty much sums up the game. Cleveland advances to game seven. 48-42. And of course, it only makes sense to settle this entire series with NBA 2K15. Golden State home court game seven. This is what basketball is all about. Golden State looking to get their first championship since 1975. LeBron looking to get his third ring. This was all Cleveland coming out early. Look at that laying it in. Thompson, nice smug smile. Here we see a pass over to King James. He's going to drop that in with one hand. That's all he needs. 15-9 Golden State. Pass over to Miller. Is it time? I guess it is Miller time. 18-9. Golden State cannot find any way to stop this offense. Cleveland putting on a clinic early. Posting up LeBron James. The fade. Oh, you know that's going in. Taking a 10-point lead in the third quarter. Golden State trying to get back into this. We see Green there taking the shot. That's what Golden State's known for. Down by 10 here in the third quarter. Can we see another run? Cleveland says, no, you may not. The Cavs looking to put a few more points on there for a cushion. Driving here is Kyrie Irving laying it in. 60 to 42. Steph Curry making a shot right here. But it's at the end of the fourth with 115. 62-47. That's not going to be enough to do it. The Cavaliers win game seven after being down three to two, coming back to win it. LeBron getting his third ring, final score 62 to 49, congratulations. So with this simulation, the Cleveland Cavaliers will be the 2015 NBA champions. I kind of hope it's not correct because I'm going to be cheering on Golden State. June 4th, this matchup begins. It's going to be great, guys. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep your stick on the ice.